So resilience is a whole amalgam of things, a whole loads of, of ways of thinking and acting um, and being the environment we live in too that enable us to get through whatever it is that's challenging us, any challenge, disruption, setbacks and adversity um, and to continue to be able to feel good and function well, either to get back to doing that or, um, you know, doing that as much as you can at the time. So this is my loose, you know, definition, but the reality is it's really with about um, steering through adversity um, and managing to keep the show on the road. It's so important actually for all of us resilience. So um, we know that humans have four uses of resilience. The first is for our young people, our tamariki, to overcome any particular obstacles of childhood. So whether that is um, physical abuse or emotional neglect or bullying or you know just something that's going on. So that's the first one. The second one is for us all to get through the trials and tribulations of everyday life. So whether that is someone nicking your parking space or giving you a ridiculous, you know, added deadline that you weren't expecting. And then the third is the really big stuff in life. So whether that is bereavement, divorce, dementia, um, physical illness, um, all of those really big things that are sent to challenge us. And then the first three are about how we react to things that happen to us. The last one is about us being proactive. So we also need our resilience for learning new skills, trying new things, making new friends, all of that as well. So we always talk about those four uses of resilience. So the most important thing that teachers can do to help young people develop their capacity for resilience is to understand that it's not some elusive fixed trait, that it is a capacity available to us all. And that actually the research shows that most people get through all sorts of really tough times using very ordinary processes. So those are things like being able to lean on your friends, ask for help, for um, being able to be hopeful of the future and believe that you can exert your um, influence to get the outcomes that you're looking for. So what teachers can do is firstly believe in resilience in our Tamariki um, to give them hope, to give them belief that they will be able to get through whatever it is they're facing but also one of the ways you can build it is to draw their attention back and say when have you been when have you gone through something similar in the past and what helped you then what were the inner or external resources that helped you get through that tough time and from that what might be useful in the situation that you're facing now and doing this builds their self confidence their belief their self efficacy beliefs that they have it within them to get through whatever is facing them. So this is really important. And again, I would always recommend that in a couple of weeks time, if you see someone, check in with them and say, you know that thing that was, you know, you look so down in the dumps about a couple of weeks ago, look at you now, you've clearly managed to get through that. And so you kind of get them to realize that there is a future, that they can see this path ahead because hope and realistic optimism are absolutely vital for resilience.